so I have this clear app on my phone and I, I put every idea there so I can act on it. Get clients, get them results. You always want to focus on your strengths. There's actually no way for me to actually give the same attention to the $1 million client and to the $500 million client. You just have to focus on doing your thing well. Good morning, so today is Saturday. Um, for me, usually Saturday is usually scheduling for next week. We're gonna enter into the tunnel, so it's gonna be black. Um, so for me, Saturday, can you, can you close the window so that it's not... Okay, so for me, Saturday is either like scheduling next week and is a time for me to actually like stop, stop for a second, for just for a second, and like... Literally one second. <laughs> <laughs> My brother is laughing and I will tell you the joke later, but... Um, because I, I, I usually, like I like some time to like read and stuff and like, can you, can you drive with me filming this? Okay. Um, so I'm reading a lot, I'm thinking a lot, strategizing a lot, and all those things. Uh, so that's what kind of what I will do today: uh, scheduling the next week, putting things in order, putting ideas in, in play in order for them to take to take action, um, and uh, reading, thinking, strategizing, all these things. Uh, kind of that's the purpose of Saturday. Um, usually Sunday is different because I'm I'm back at it full speed. Uh, that's why it's only one second, uh, but that's kind of what I will do today. So, um, really not sure of the content of the vlog, but to be honest, 99% of the cases when I <laughs> turn on this camera, I don't know exactly either one, what I'm going to say in it, and two, what I'm gonna do the vlog about. That may change the future, but I think that's just the way I'm comfortable with. I like that speed of of action and then I'll figure out afterwards so if uh, I think it's just like a filter for me so if you if you like watching these things uh, and they're entertaining they're valuable with all these things to you in the way that I put them out every day and like doing all these crazy stuff then that's I think it's beautiful if you don't and you like more structured content um, then that may come from me in, an, in the near future um, because I'm gonna get a team going with content team like writers and like all that good stuff but for now that's that's this is what I'm doing and I, I really like it so um, okay we're really driving off here sorry I'm really random anyways that's it let's continue with the day so here's how I see confidence work when you learn something some little bit you're gonna get really spiked with your confidence right when you have like one out of ten skill you're gonna have like seven out of ten confidence what happens though is after this kind of like little spike most people tend to stop there and this is the point on which I call like you're uh, dangerous right this is the client that knows something and thinks they know everything this is me when I started out with dancing and after like two weeks of practice I've been like, my teacher told me I was great uh, and I thought I'm the best dancer in the world, right? I was at the point in which I thought I had like one confidence or, or, or one skill or two skill out of 10 and I had like seven or eight confidence. So my skill was not, my confidence was not based on my skill. My confidence was based on the image I thought I had, okay? So what this happens, this is a dangerous point because if you're gonna advance in skill, you need to, you, you automatically need to lower your confidence, right? When you realize you're not that good at what you're doing and you need to fucking get like, you need to like step, step down and like get back and learn a lot of things and you have a lot to learn and we always have a lot to learn, then your confidence starts to like lower. Um, and here's the thing, after the conf your confidence lowers, the only way you can get back up is in a steady, and step by step way. And then you're gonna get slow and steady back up. Okay, so this is practically all I did today. First, managing my email, scheduling things out, um, and making sure everything is set in place where the ideas are taking action on, all the good stuff. Most people, when they have ideas, they just throw them away. What I like to do is 
note everything down. I have an app on my phone called, called Clear. It's amazing, it will change your life forever. Um, let, let me make some light here. What do you think now? This is a lot better, right? Okay, let's see. So I have this Clear app on my phone and I, I put every idea there so I can act on it. Um, most people when they have an idea, they, they don't do it based on the filter that they cannot do it then and there. I don't do that. I think that's <laughs> really bad. What I do is I note it down and if, I, if that's an idea that I can do in six months, I'll do it in six months. If that's an idea I can do in two weeks, I'll do it in two weeks. Most ideas I have, I, can act on, I cannot act on them immediately. So that's a bad filter to have. Only like, you, if you can do it now, note it down. If you can't, don't note it down. Like that's crazy. Um, and most people have am amazing ideas that they just don't take action on. So that's what I do there. Um, that's what I do, what I've done uh, today is I've went through a couple of my ideas I haven't finished yet fully um, and did that. Now, I'm gonna go to the movie, to the movies, the theater, the cinema, I don't know the word, everybody uses a different word. I'm just gonna use mine and that's what we're gonna do right now. Check this out. People get uncomfortable clothes every day and I think that's annoying. So this is, these are some easies. I think that's how they're called. Thank you, Kanye, for designing them, Kanye West. Um, they're just amazing, and I'm not like I don't like like I don't particularly like the design. But here's the thing: they're so comfortable. They're so comfortable. And check out check out these pair of jeans. This is Zara, right? There's like there's the most comfortable things ever, and I'm, I bought them because of that. Then I have this. It's the most comfortable thing ever. People dress so much for other people. It's crazy. Like if you're not comfortable in what you're wearing, you're gonna get uncomfortable. You don't wanna do that. So that's what I do. Like I dress, one, for speed, second, to be comfortable. I think it's crazy. And my brother laughs because he knows it's more speed than comfortable. But, <laughs> but it took me like five seconds to get these on. It's amazing. Anyways, let's get to the movies. The people of the world. I was really nervous in the meeting, right? And then this client got me like, okay, I want to tell you a secret, right? He was like, come to get, come closer. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck is this, right? He was like, nobody really knows what they're doing. 